I gave you glory, Lord Father, you are able to go. I worship in the beauty of your holy name. This one, that one, that one. Jesus, not the only Baba. That's all. Jesus, not the only Baba. I'm going all 
ask you today. I want to be about the thing Jesus did for me. Yes, Lord. He made me wear. Waiting, my Baba, nothing to for me. I love you. It's where I thank you. You don't make my life better. I go to serve you forever. You be Baba. Lord, you go feed do for you. What he do for me? Jesus, I love you. You do what I thank you. You don't make my life better. I go to serve you forever. You be my Baba. You do what I thank you, Lord. You don't make my life better. I'm gonna save you forever. You be Baba. Being thankful. Have you remember to thank the Lord today? Put a cheer on your face. And miss everything you going on. Say, Lord, I thank you. You do what well, I thank you. You be Baba. Jesus, I love you. You do what well, I thank you. You don't make my life better. I'm gonna serve you forever. You be Baba. Every day I'm gonna serve you. I'm gonna praise your name. You do good thing for me, oh, you be my baba. Day and night. Day and night, now you are no, you be my baba. I will to save you forever, you be my baba. I will to save you forever, you be my baba. Eh oh, Jesus, not the only Son of God. Eh oh, Lord of Love. No power for this world pass you, no. Eh oh, not you, eh oh. Yes, Lord. Jesus is the only power in this world. No power passes his own. Jesus is the only Son of God. Ew. King of King and Lord of Law. No power for this world passes on. Now you that you, ew, not you, ew. She's a power pass. No power past Jesus' power, Lord. 
Chisa show dawo pepe. Ha raba shikerere. Dawo don't have power. They just make yeah yeah all over the place. Some people are worshiping for a way it's made. They say that God. My nigga. My nigga. My nigga. I will never worship my nigga. My nigga. My nigga. I will never worship my nigga. My shikara. They got eyes, but they don't see. They got ears, but they can't hear. They got more, but they can't talk, my nigga. I will never watch your mom make go. Are you watching me make me go? Anything that is under the tree, you put water, whatever that can't see is on me make go. It's an idol. How do I shake it? They got eyes, they can't see. They got ear, they can't hear. Hey! Hey, that's why they call Piamda. Hey, I love she get it. My nigga, we will never wash it, my nigga. It's good to worship your father, the almighty father. My shikara, I must son to you, Lara. Wash it, Jesus, forever. I go worship in every day. I go worship Jesus forever. I go worship in every day. I go worship Jesus forever. I go worship in every day. I go worship Jesus forever. I go worship in every day. I go worship Jesus forever. I go worship in every day. I go worship Jesus forever. I go worship in every day. I will pray Jesus forever. I will praise God for every day. Jesus is on my prayer. I will worship you every Jesus forever. I will worship in every day. I will worship Jesus forever. I will worship in every day. I will worship in every day. I will worship Jesus forever. I will worship in every day. Harabashi. I will worship in every day. I will worship Jesus forever. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Every day around the clock, worship Jesus. How the goodness of God. You have to testify unto God's goodness. How do I get it? We're talking about the goodness of God. My mouth to talk about the goodness of God. My eyes have seen, my ears are heard. My mouth to talk about the goodness of God. My eyes have seen, my ears are heard. My mouth to talk about the goodness of God. My ears are heard. My mouth to talk about the goodness of God. All right, my shit. Thank you, Lord. My eyes are seen, my ears are heard. My mouth to talk about the goodness of God. My eyes are seen, my ears are heard. My mouth will talk about the goodness of God. Yes, Lord. God is so good. How about my chicken? Has God been so good to you? Has God been so good to you? Do you remember what God has done for you? 
Has God been so good to you? You sit there and you worry, you murmur, you complain, you don't even rise on your feet to say, thank you, Jesus. Has God been good to you? Can you retrospect? Can you think? Can you have a flashback? And just say, at least, thank you, Jesus. Has God done anything good for you at all? Or you only murmur? You only nag? You only complain? You are so negative. You are so hateful. Has God done anything good for you? That you can even say, let me count my blessings and name them one by one and see what the Lord has done for me. Remember when there was war in your countries back in the 90s? Remember when there was pandemic, deadly virus, Ebola, when they were suffering? Remember when you went into exile, when there was no way out? The Lord met you all at the points of your knees. But can you still remember those good times when you didn't know anyone, when God was there for you? When he prepared your table before you in the presence of your enemies? When he anointed you with oil and your cup ran over? When the Lord blessed you? When the Lord surprised you? But do you want to dwell on the present condition or the present situation and you have forgotten all the goodness of God? It's good to be thankful and grateful. There were people who met you along the way. Along your suffering times. Your challenges time. They say, oh, they bless you. They stretch their hands towards you. But do you often remember those people? Do you even consider them in your lives? You have arrived. It's good to be thankful. I will worship Jesus forever. I will worship him every day. I will worship Jesus forever. I will worship him every day. I will worship Jesus forever. I will worship my Lord every day. I will worship Jesus forever. I will worship him every day. So will you remember? When you were hiding in the bushes, when you were checking on your body for marks, for tattoos, they were calling you names. They were pointing fingers at you. They even hang a stone on your neck to get you drawn. But God intervention, a divine intervention rescue you today. But still, you don't count it all joy that God has done anything for you. You only look at the ugly side, but you have forgotten about all the good miracles the Lord did for you, for your family, for your friends, for your loved ones, for your children, for your husbands, for your wives. Often at times, it makes people feel so bad the way people have become so ungrateful. People are complainers more than they are thankful. Oh, it is not good. It's good to often sit and have a quiet time and say, God, I thank you for all you have done for me. God, I bless you so much. Jesus, the first miracle for waking me up and setting me on my way. There are many who have been dead and gone. Who are lying sick in the hospital, helpless and hopeless. Who are even in the prison compounds. Some went there for the wrong reasons. They for the wrong people at the wrong time. They are innocent. But here you are. You have your freedom, no GPS is on your leg to monitor your movement. But you can't say, thank you, God. Oh, Lord forgive us. Lord, forgive us. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us. Lord, have mercy. There are many good things you have done for us. You have fought so many battles. You have delivered us from our strong enemies. You have made provision for us. You have protected us. 
You have rescued us. You provided for us. But yet they stay. People feel it is not enough. You have not done enough. What else do we want for God to do for us? Lord, we are just thanking you for all which you have done for us. And that which you, you are yet to do for us. Lord, we are thanking you. We are thanking you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, We're going to worship God in Jesus' name. It's good to appreciate God. Oh, Leave your voice and praise the Lord. Leave your voice and praise the King of Kings and worship in the beauty of your holiness. We're going to worship the Lord. For the Lord deserves to be praised. He deserves to be thanked. We will gratify him. The Lord deserves our worship. We glorify your name, Lord. Oh, Jesus, we thank you, Lord. How do we shake it? Jehovah, we worship you, Lord. We are experienced, Lord. We are experienced, your Almighty God. You are a sovereign God. I immortal and beautiful God. We are experiencing the glorious God. Oh, in this place, we're going to worship the Lord. I experience the wholeness of God. I am the spirit, I am the lion. The I am the lion of the tribe of Judah. We are experiencing the Lord. Let me hold the voice of the worship the Lord. We give the glory, Lord. We give you all the adoration, Lord. The worship, Lord. Oh, she can't have a son to the Thank you, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord. Our Father. We glorify you, Lord. There is no one. In all the earth, there is no one like you, Lord. Our Father. Our Father. We glorify your name, Lord. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you, Lord. Oh, our Father, we glorify you, Lord. We look in the wife. There is no one you, Lord. We call you the Alpha, the Omega, Lord. We glorify you, Yahweh. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one in you, Jesus. Heart of a shaker. Yeah, we glorify on him, Lord. There is no one in you, Lord. There is no one in you, Lord. There is no one in you, Lord. We glorify on him, Lord. There is no Jesus, there is no one like you. We glorify your name, Lord. We glorify your name, Jesus. We glorify your name, Bado. There is no one like you. We glorify your name, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. We worship in the beauty of your holiness. Tell me no one like you, Lord. 
Mashikara mo sonto mirarara. Here we shikara ma santa de 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 de. Father, we give you glory, Lord. Take no one like you, Father. Mashikara rara mo sonto mira. Lion and Jehovah Judah, we worship you, Lord. There we no one like you, Lord. Glory, Lord. The first and the last, the beginning and the end. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Lord. Yeah, we worship you, Lord. We are saying, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, now me make them balika. 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 Oh, now me make them balika. Balika, yes, oh. Tell them thank you. Tell them. Tell Baba God thank you. Let we tell them thank you. Tell them thank you. Tell them. Tell Baba God thank you. What did he do for me? I go tell them thank you. What did he do for me? I go tell Papa God thank you. Tell her thank you. Tell her. Tell Papa God thank you. How do I see? Mashi Karara. Kala hi mama. Hallelujah hi mama. Kala hi mama. Hallelujah hi mama. Kala hi mama, aleluya, hi mama, kala hi mama, aleluya, hi mama, kala hi mama, hi mama, hi mama, kala hi mama, aleluya, hi mama, harabashi karararara, Father, we say thank you, Lord, we are so grateful for everything, Lord. Your children are saying, thank you, Lord. We are saying, thank you, Papa. We are saying, thank you, Jesus. We are saying, thank you, Abba, Father. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. The bread and morning star. The high of high, we are saying, thank you. The rose of Sharon. The sword and rock of which we say, we are saying, thank you, Lord. Abba Father, Abba Father, we are saying thank you, Lord. Lord, we are saying thank you. Lord, we are saying thank you, Lord. We call you the Alpha and Omega. We are saying thank you. The shadow of God is more than enough. We are saying thank you, Lord. The ladies of the valley, the brain and money star, the many potent signs, God, the many presses, Lord, the money. How do I get it? The water of the God, we are saying thank you, Lord. Lord, we are saying thank you for everything. For food our table, we are saying thank you. For the miracle to be counted among the living, we are saying thank you, Lord. We are very grateful, Father. Father, we are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Joseph. We are saying thank you, Nyeswa. We are saying thank you, Grepo. We are saying thank you, Abi. We are saying thank you, Nangala. We are saying thank you, Daya. We are saying thank you, Kama. We are saying thank you, Gewagala. 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 We are saying thank you, G
saying take you mele ka. We are saying take you niswa. Haraba shikin. We are saying take you gala. We are saying take you ala. We are saying ala balika ala iniche. We are saying take you law. We are saying thank you. We are saying thank you. We are saying Tineke Dima. We are saying Mela. We are saying Namate. We are saying So sure. We are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you. We are saying mercy, dear. We are saying, dear mercy. We are saying, dear mercy, Lord. We are saying, thank you. We are saying, dear, glacia, Seigneur. We are saying, glacia, Seigneur. We are saying, thank you, my Lord. Ah. Thank you, Lord. Ah, she get it. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Mashikarara mo sunto vida. We are saying hallelujah, Lord. Father, we are saying hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We are saying hallelujah, Lord. Mashikarara. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify your name. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, in this place. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come, come and manifest your power. We are saying, Holy Spirit, come, 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 Holy Spirit, come and manifest your glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We are saying, Holy Spirit, come. We are saying, Holy Spirit, come. Come, come and manifest your glory, Lord. Talon, I'm not a pair of me, cheap, I'll go see you. And you know, I'm not a lot of me, cheap, I'm not going to go to you. But I'm not going to go to you. But I'm not going to go to you. But I'm not going to go to you. Amen, we will be on back. Humbe, humbe, me me wa ya humbe, tinjo be de no ni be, ah me me wa ya humbe, masano chona inge yo, me me wa ya humbe, 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 me me wa ya humbe, tinjo be de no ni be, ah me me wa ya humbe, masano chona inge yo, ah la ba chikere. Mo sunto vida da da da, ma ele mo shi kara da da ma santa he, ma ele mo shi de 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 ma santa da. My father, my father, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for the bread of life. We say thank you. We are saying thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We welcome you, see Holy Spirit. Oh, God is there with the blood of Jesus. Cover your people that are washing. All those that left their bases scheduled to wash. Father, cover them with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this moment with you. Thank you, Lord, for this hour. You say we ought to praise you and be thankful to you at any time, Lord. Help us, Holy Spirit, that we will be thankful to God. We will remember all the many good things the Lord has done for us. All the many battles he has fought for us. Father, you will remind us. 
Father, we pray to take away the spirit of ungratefulness in our lives. Holy Ghost, help us. We cannot do this on our own. Father, we thank you. We lean it on you, Father, that you will help us and remind us constantly in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. You are able. Thank you, Jesus. You are able, Father. Lion of the tribe of Judah, there is no one like you. Father, we thank you. Thank you for everything this hour. Thank you for your grace that is sufficient for us. Thank you for you do mighty thing, you do glorious thing. You are faithful, God. Awesome is your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. It's good to be thankful to the Lord, to the Almighty God. When you wake up in the morning and you are breathing, remember to say thanks to God. I appreciate God. Even for a minute, for a second. Say thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Waking me, my family up. Waking my neighbors up. Waking our brothers up. Oh, our leaders up. Thank you, Lord, to be counted amongst the living. It's important. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, that was it's good to be thankful. We're going to continue today by the leading of the Holy Spirit. Good to be thankful to the Lord, to the Almighty, to our Maker. It pays to be thankful. It pays to be thankful. Many a times we are not thankful. We complain. We complain more than we appreciate. Being thankful. Harabashikir. It's a feeling of appreciation felt by an or similar positive response shown by the recipient of kindness, gifts, help, favors, or other types of generosity towards the giver of such gifts. It's a feeling of appreciation. Do you have the feeling of appreciation at all for anyone? Do we often remember anyone that did good for us? Or we only dwell on the wrong and we don't think of the goodness. The feeling of being happy or grateful because of something. I felt a deep glow of affection and thankfulness for her kindness. Do you feel thankful for God's kindness towards you when you wake up in the morning? Or you only complain? When a peace of Christ rules in our hearts, thankfulness overflows. Even in the darkest of times. We can praise God for his love. Don't even be thankful only in good times. When things are difficult, when you are going through challenges or challenges in life, it's the main time you say, God, I thank you. I thank you for this challenge. It's a lesson that you want to teach me that when I graduate from this stage, that you're going to take me to the next level of my life. Lord, I thank you. After your time, we forget to say thank you in difficult times. We only dwell on the, the nature of what we are going through. And we don't appreciate God. It is wrong if we do that. As children of God. In Jesus name. His sovereignty and his promise to be near us when we call. Psalm 145 verse 18. Thank you Lord for your peace that transcends understanding and your love that endures forever. It's good to be thankful. You can, thankfulness means you, you like, you, you are grateful, you appreciate, you, you know, you oblige, you satisfy, you gratify, you give in thanks, you please, you contended, you behold, you overwhelm, and you insensible, insensible. But sometimes we are not insensible. We are not even feeling the thankfulness or the, the gratitude from anyone. We just, we just play it low. Why is it that this country and 
our country in Africa, some other countries chose to give Thanksgiving in November because they appreciate the founding fathers, the religious leaders, those who sacrifice their lives to make sin to be the, the, free, the freedom of religious today, religion you practice in today. You can preach the gospel all over the places, in certain places, without being hunted or without you being killed. It has to be a sacrifice by someone somewhere. Some people sacrifice their lives that you and I are enjoying the freedom of worship today. That's why it's good to say thank, thanks to people. That's why people chose Thanksgiving as a holiday to dedicate to the focus of being thankful. Showing an appreciation of kindness. Being thankful is a feeling and being grateful is an action. When you are so thankful, you feel so good. Then you want to reciprocate kindness. You become grateful. Gratefulness is an action. Being thankful is a feeling. It's an emotion. You're so happy. You are smiling. You are singing praises. Hallelujah, anyhow. I never, I never let my problems let me down. Whatever problem life will be, I hold my hands to so I sing it. Hallelujah, anyhow. You wake up in the morning, you are celebrating. Jesus, I love you. You do well, I thank you. You don't make my life better. I'm going to love you forever. You be Baba. That's the feeling. You are so happy within. You do good thing for me. Oh, you be Baba. Day and Nana, you are no. Day and Nana, you are no. You be Baba. You are so happy. You demonstrate it by action. By you going the extra mile to even say, I want to bless someone today. I'm so happy because, because of the way I'm feeling, I want to extend it to someone else. You want to appreciate another person. You demonstrate an action by being, you gave two cash up. You buy or give a present you gave to someone because you just want to demonstrate how you feel good. The happiness is within your heart. Joy overflow my heart. I sing a new song to the Lord. I will praise His name. I will honor Him. Singing glory, hallelujah. Joy overflow my heart. I sing a new song to the Lord. Is it worth it when we are so thankful to God? Even people that have been good to us. We demonstrate thankfulness by create a gratitude ritual, send a thank you note to people, give a free hug to someone to say thank you. Oh, you gave thanks for today. Thank you for what you did for me today. Thank you for even calling me or thank you for sending me that message. Thank you for sharing your ideas with me. Do someone a favor, free favor. Call your leader, your pastor. Oh, hi, pastor. Is there anything you, you would like me to do for you today? Give a little gift. Give someone a list of all they have done that you are grateful for. Oh, you did this for me. Oh, you blessed me. You pray for me. You even send me a message. You send me a warm greetings. You remind me you did this for my children or my family in Africa. I just want to say thank you. Acknowledge them publicly. People have problems when people stand in the open to say, Oh, I thank Mr. Y and Z for what he did for me. They have problems with it. As for people, they will always have problems when you even calling people names because you don't call you didn't call their names. They feel jealous. But don't mind how they feel about it. You do what the Holy Spirit leads you to do. Some people are so thankful. They are so appreciative. They will call you, oh, I just call you to say thank you. Sometimes people say, oh, don't tell me thank you. No, no, no. They have to tell you thank you. 
You know what it feels like? When someone was not even thinking about you, and you just sat down, you purpose to be kind to them, and miss this COVID-19, you sat down, you bless someone with money, you know what it feels like? It means so much, if you don't know. It's good to be thankful to people. Give things in all circumstances. That's what the word of God say. For this is the word of God in Christ Jesus for you. You can read that in 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Then this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. You can read that in Psalm 118, verse 24. And let the peace of Christ rule in your heart to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful. Thankfulness is so important. People who are thankful to God are thankful to those who care for them. As well as God's blessing to them. The main cause of unthankfulness is not known by experience, the grace, and the mercy of God. Thankful people are happy people. Thankful people are content with how God has dealt with them. No matter what you are going through, you are thankful always. You are joyous always. You are not nagging, whining, complaining. What is this? Oh, what better? Oh, how much is this? People are making all this. See what I have made. You are not even thankful for the little money, the paycheck you just earned. Do you know how many people who are, are not earning anything at all? But you are complaining. Instead of you being thankful, grateful and appreciative, you complain and you whine, you knock about everything. Nothing ever pleases you. When they gave you food, oh, the food has so much salt, so much oil, so much pepper. You don't even say thank you for the food. But you, you try to sort out the fault before being thankful. That has been ungrateful. The mere fact that somebody apply effort to give you food, say thank you. Then finding fault on the food. Whether it has so much sugar, whether the juice is so sh tasting sugar, or so much spice in there, or so much whatever you think, you whatever condition you find on it, just shut up and say thank you to someone for once. Oh, the oil is so much. Oh, the pepper. Oh, the salt. Oh, the water didn't get dry in the sauce. Everything you know how to do it, do it for yourself. And stop finding fault on whatever people did for you. Stop it. When the wives cook for you in the home, be thankful and appreciate it. Or if anyone gave you food, receive it with a Open arms and say thank you. Rather than finding fault on everything. Don't be like the children of Israel. The Lord sent Moses to tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And they perform, God perform all the sons and wonder to Pharaoh and between Moses and Aaron. They saw all of those. The Lord divided the Red Sea. In the day, there was a pillar of clouds over them. In the night, there was a pillar of fire. They didn't feel anything at all. No burning the sun. They did not burn them by night, by day. The moon did not burn them by night. They were all glamorous. The Lord protected them. But still, they were not happy. They were not grateful. They were not thankful. They were complaining and finding fault on everything. The Lord split the Red Sea. They walk on dry ground. They said, complain. The Lord took them to the wilderness. They, they will have spent just 40 days. But because of their complaining and their ungrateful attitude, the Lord extended it to 40 years. But even, even that, the clothes that they carry with them, the shoes, everything, they now worn out. They were all in tight. No one got sick, but they yet complained. They were nagging and wanting. Oh, Egypt was better. In the morning, we could have this. We could eat this. We could have bread with tea and coffee and everything. Because they were eating manna. They said manna was too much. Oh, every day, cassava leaf. Every day, kittery, topogi. Every day, ogusi. Every day, pandanya. Every day. Hey. Every day. This. Every day, rare or soup. Every day, pine butter. Every day, jollof rice, fried rice, every day, vegetable, every day, ah, this, potato leaf, every day, cream cream, every day, palava sauce. Complain and complain and complain. Oh, every day, water soup. 
tomato soup. I'm tired with tomato soup. I'm tired with this. I'm tired with that. Why do you love to complain at every given situation? At every given circumstance or every given opportunity, you want to complain. God took you from the from bondage, crossing through the Red Sea, you walk on dry ground, talking to the wilderness, and you are feeding with manna in the morning. All you do, you are not paying bills, you are not paying car notes, you are not paying horse rent, you are not paying telephone bill, nothing at all, free of charge. But you were whining, you were complaining, oh, you were nagging, everything was not good. The law granted your request and provided meat again for you. You will stay far forth. You were complaining. Oh, the meat is not tender the way I used to tender it in Egypt. Oh, the meat does not taste sweet or seasoned as it used to be in Egypt. Though we are in bondage, but the meat there used to be well seasoned. You see how people can be so ungrateful? This is how it has been up to now. Ungratefulness is not good. Let me read a Bible verse. Our scripture for today. Psalm 100 verse 4 to 6. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. That's what the songwriter said. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his church with praise. I will sing this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Lamentation 22, I think 32 to 33. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His merciness never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every evening. Great is the faithfulness. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His merciness never come to an end. They are new every afternoon. They are new every evening. Grace and faithfulness. Who is like unto you? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, among the God, who is like thee? You are glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises to reward us. Hallelujah. You can read that in Exodus 15, verse 11. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. I will make my boss in the house of God. I will bless the Lord at all times. Psalm 34, verse 1. Are you thankful to God at all? Or are you one of the nigers? The complainer? The one that found fault on everything one does for you? You never, you never just slow down to say, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. But you found fault over everything or above everything. Stop. If that is your attitude, you have to change your ways. Don't be like the children of Israel to be so ungrateful. You are in slavery, going through bondage, doing hard labor. The sun burned you. You were beaten unmercifully. God delivered you, but you still complaining. You are not thankful. Stop being ungrateful. We ought to be thankful. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will. In Christ, for you, in Christ Jesus. You get, that is 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. If you are not thankful, you are very ungrateful. 
you you have an ingratitude attitude thanklessness lack of gratitude lack of appreciation rudeness or mannerless inconsiderateness boorishness condemnation thoughtlessness is who you are you are inconsiderate you don't consider anything people did for you stop it if you, the feeling of gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it yes you can wrap a present you buy a present but you didn't give it to someone so that's how it is Gratitude is so important. Gratitude is a thankful appreciation for what an individual receives, whether tangible or intangible. With gratitude, people acknowledge their goodness in their lives. Gratitude helps people feel more positive emotion, release good experience, improve their health, deal with adversity, and build strong relationships. When you are someone who has the spirit of gratitude, you build strong relationships with people. But we are not thankful. Be thankful for the friends you have. First and foremost, be thankful for the life you are living. Be thankful for freedom of religion. Your parents. Everything that the Lord has provided for you, be thankful for them. Your spouse, be thankful for them. Your children. The car you say, oh, it's nineteen ninety five car you driving around. Be thankful for it. There are others who don't even have bicycle or bicycle. Be thankful. When you practice gratitude, you successfully reach your goals in life. If you keep being a grat gratifying individual. You are always reaching your goal. People will go there extra, extra, let's say, against their wish. They will go there extra mile of, of helping you. Because you always appreciate people's effort. Remember the Bible said the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. They are good news. Joy is among the most unmistakable marks of a faithful heart. You need to be joyous in your life. Be thankful. If you, if you express gratitude, it is a form of freedom that comes from God and God alone. Give thanks to God for all the blessings. Recognize the bad things too and give God thanks. Because when with our bodies, you will not be strengthened. You will not grow spiritually. You will not pray consistently. You will just be complacent. You will just be comfortable with what you are. So sometimes these things come in your way or God allow these things to happen so that you can acknowledge and move to the next level to read your Bible continuously to pray with our season. I want to first Thessalonians 5 18 or Luke 18 verse 1. There is power of thanksgiving. Whenever Thanksgiving rises up to God, he is still into action to perform a miracle. Oh yes, whenever you thank God in the morning, God is still in his heaven. You say, God, I thank you. I thank you for the job yet to come. I thank you for the family you gave me. I thank you for the food. I thank you for everything. I thank you for a roof over my head. I thank you for my neighbor. I thank you for my pastor. I thank you for the freedom of religion, freedom of worship. I thank you for everything, God. You see, God will move. But the same way we are treating our leaders, we are not thankful, thankful to them for anything. The president, the prime minister, the kings and the queens, the governors, the police commissioners, the city mayor, the superintendent, your CEO, your manager. You are not thankful to them. You always find fault. You never said the good things that they did. You wouldn't look at the ugly thing. You wouldn't look for the fault. You look for their mistakes. Even when they make speech or they present a speech, you only want to be critics about how their, their sentence structure was not analyzed. It was not well structured. They, you found all the errors. Stop being so critic or critical of others. Stop it. Remember, 
The same yardstick you use to judge others today is the same yardstick others will use to judge you tomorrow. You may want to ascend into leadership tomorrow. If you are so critics of people today, you think when you become someone tomorrow, people will not criticize you? Oh, yes. It's a give and take. The same way you pointing your finger at someone, your thumb is coming back to your chest. Remember that. Let us remember of being thankful for once. Give thanks to God for your parents. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Do not look down upon your parents and say, oh, they are so illiterate. They didn't go to school. That's where we from Africa. We thank God for our parents. They didn't go to school, but they gave birth to beautiful and handsome children. That they tried and so they are domestic job to send to send their children to school. If your mother don't even have teeth, stand be to God for them. Be proud of your parents. Because you don't know what it takes, what it feels like for a parent to sacrifice all he or she got to send their children to school. Then here you are, you have graduated. Your parents have taken a loan. But now you are 18 years of age. You are a man, you are a woman, you are a lady. You can take up your own decision now. You have arrived. You want to move out. That's the same way we are treating God. The same way the children are treating parents, the wayward ones, the prodigal sons and daughters. It's the same way we are also being prodigal and wayward to God or with God. God has done so much good things for us. But we look him in the face. We say, where is God? If there was God, we even question if there is God. We now believe in science and technology, in the people, the scholars who say, oh, there is no God. Ah, uh, men derive from evolution theories. My Bible tells me in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Either believe it or you leave it. I believe in the omnipotent, the omnipresent, the omnipresent God. I believe in the Trinity God, the God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. You like, believe in whatever theories you believe in. I know that God is spirit, according to John 4 24. Therefore, all true worshippers of God should worship Him in spirit and in truth. And I also know, my Bible tells me, 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 17. For the law is spirit, for therefore, where the spirit of the law is, there is liberty. You be there with all your belief. Anyways, anyone or everyone is entitled to his or her opinions. No one is to question anyone's opinion. You either leave it or you believe it. But I believe in the living word of God, the Bible. The Bible is my healer. The Bible is my deliverer. My, the Bible is my protector. The word of God is my provider. It is written in the word. The Lord shall provide my needs according to the riches in glory. Philipp, Philippians 4 and 19. The Bible says, I will look, lift up my eyes unto the hills for where coming my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Psalm 121 is there. My Bible tells me that they will surely attack you, believer, but they will not prevail against you. For the Lord will come to your aid, to your rescue, to deliver you. Jeremiah 119. The evidence are clear in the Bible. So be thankful to God, who is always there to deliver you from your strong enemies, who were too strong for you that you could not fight spiritually, physically. Emotionally, psychologically, the Lord fight battles for you. Psalm 18, verse 17. The Lord avenges his children and subdue our enemies under our feet. Psalm 18, verse 47. So be thankful to God, give thanks to God who always fight your battle. And so one nagging all over the place. Stop it. Stop for once and say, you know what? I think I won't go. 
Philippians 4 says that do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God which transcend all understanding will guide your heart and your minds. In Christ Jesus, according to Philippians 4, 6 to 7, God is our refuge and strength, and pray and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the eye gave way in the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam in the mountains quake with their sinking. Psalm 46, verse 1 to 3. The Lord will always come to our rescue. Cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. First Peter 5, 7. Oh, yes. So why are you so much feeling that God has forgotten you? Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. First Chronicles 16, 34. I will give thanks to you, O oh Lord, with all my heart. I will tell all of your wonderful deeds or your wonderful work. Psalm 9, verse 1. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and exhort him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. Psalm 95, 2 to 3. I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. Psalm 69, verse 30. Oh, yes. Life can be challenging sometimes. It is hard to find anything to be thankful for. In those situations, gratitude is an act fit, one that is pointed and intentional. Be thankful. I will give thanks to you, O oh Lord, with all my heart. I will tell all of the wonderful deeds. Psalm 9, verse 1. But thanks be to God who always lead us as captives in Christ, triumphant possession, and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere. Second Corinthians 2 verse 14. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, true psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your heart. And whatever you do, whether in war or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God, the Father through him. Colossians 3, 16 to 17. It is important to be thankful to God, people, believers. It is very important to be thankful to God. Do not sit there and all you do, you nag, you complain. It makes the COVID-19, it makes the, the global lockdown. The Lord has been providing for you. He has been meeting you at the point of your knees. In fact, the miracles of God are so enormous during this time. God is doing so miraculous things in the lives of people who believe in him. Oh, yes. But people are not thankful. Some people got COVID-19, God saved their lives. It's not the matter of the PPEs, the masks you are wearing, the face masks, or the gloves, or everything, the apron you are wearing, the plastic, everything, the shoes. Hey, it's not because of the oxygen or the ventilators. It was God who delivered you, who saved you. you. But the Bible says in Psalm 23, Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for the Lord is with me. He swore and he stopped, they comfort me. You think because it was science and technology that saved you, it was a miracle, hands of God that saved you. They saw right there say, Deliver me, O oh Lord. Deliver me, O oh Lord. Deliver me, O oh Lord. Deliver me from my enemies. The Lord deliver us from our enemy. Isaiah 54, 15 says, Surely they will gather against you. They will assemble against you. But it's not according to the Lord's way. Whoever does gather against you, they will fall for your sake. Therefore, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned into judgment. This is a heritage to those who trust in the Lord. What else do you want for God to do for you? Everything is in the Bible. Be thankful. Isaiah 43, 17 to 18 says, Do not remember the former things. Do not think of things of the past. Behold, the Lord is doing new things in our lives. Shall you not know it? He will make a rivers in the, way, in, the, in the desert. He will even make a way in the wilderness. Be still and know that he is God. 
He will be exalted among nations. Be thankful to God for once. It's important. Most of you are working. And many are not working either. But the Lord is providing for us all. The birds in the sky, the weather is changing in certain part of America and Europe. We are approaching winter. But it will surprise you to know that it birds will be a life up to summer again. Up to fall. The Lord protects everything. He makes provision for all, all living things. He's God. He is infinite wisdom. No one can question him. So, be thankful to God at all times. In the morning when you wake up, say, Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I commit this day into him. My brother, my job, your car, my family, my pastors. Pray for your leaders. Your religious leaders, your world leaders. Your pastors, pray for them. They are always praying for you. They won't tell you. Don't be so self-centered. Everything is only about you and your family. In case you don't know. You could just sit there and only pray for yourself and your family. For only good things to happen for your family. So your neighbors. And your neighbor, nothing good should happen for them. So when you're walking, there is a trigger pointing at your head. Yes, you don't want anything good to happen. So all the demons will go into all everybody out there and they will be attacking you. Who feel that you wouldn't care about yourself? So it's important to intercede for one another. To pray for your neighbors. Your, your landlord. Your annoying neighbors who doesn't even like you to even claim the steps in the building. He get upset. He call police. God place you in that position to be taught to practice how to be patient and tolerant. How to endure with people. How to love your neighbor as yourself. No matter what the, the day or what one does to you, be patient with them. And be thankful to God. Some people don't even have neighbors to even talk to. To even say hi. Sometimes they will even reply. You say hi, they say hi. But continue doing it. Show love, demonstrate it. But God loves you and ask so much that he sent Jesus to die for you and I. That through him that we may be safe. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Behold, all things have passed away, and now all things have become new. Change your old ways. If you are a child of God, change your ways. Let the spirit of transformation enter your life. Stop complaining, nagging, and finding fault of everything. Stop being so negative. Appreciate others. Appreciate your leaders. Appreciate your family, your, your wives, your husband. Be thankful to your children. Don't serve children. Thank you, Holy Spirit. People are mistreating children in so many places, in so many manners. They gave attention to their biological children. The other children that are in the house, they buy anything. But their children, they buy expensive name brain for them. Stop behaving like that. Stop separating among the children. They are washing you and God is washing you. The way you treat people today, they are the way they will treat you tomorrow. So start, change your ways for the bad, change from good, from the base to comparative and superlative. Good, better, and best. Or change from ugly to good, better, and best. Please, change your ways. Stop being so manipulative. You do so sort of thing for money. You, you free people out for money. You lace with your partner in crime to doing evil to people. Stop it. What goes around comes around. Be not deceived. God is not mock. Galatians 6 7. Whatever a man sow, so shall he reap. If you are not thankful to anyone today, the same way you are treating people today is the same way people will treat you tomorrow. Slow down and think, reflect. Back in the days, you needed help and people help you. People even stood for you to loan money for you to travel. People did after that for you at the station. You just name it. But you arrived, you don't even 
call them to say thank you. You are so basic. You are basic. They go who created a universe. Stop it. A war for the wise. Some of you, your sibling, sacrifice their career for you to be in power. They send you to school. But you have graduated. You married now. You care less about them. They are no one. They are not become a problematic to you. Oh, this and the old man, this mom just called me to ask for money every time she begged for money. Do you remember or have you forgotten? This is the mother that sent you to school. She John Susu, Nigerian Susu, Dede Susu, Weakless Susu. You just name it, just to gather money to send you a bro. But she become annoying now. She's not a witch trap. She didn't kill you. When you were suffering, but now she want to kill you because you are in America. Be careful. Please. Appreciate your parents. Irrespective of their appearance. Whether they are facing challenges with disability, they are handicapped. They are crippled. They are dragging on the floor. They are your parents. Remember, they gave birth to you. Do not look down upon them. Call them once in a while. Say, mommy, I just call you to say, how you doing? I just said, thank you. I remember the suffering days, how you took care of me. Mommy, I may not have today to take care of you the way I should have done. But mommy, I just want you to pray for me. Be patient. But I'm grateful for everything. The calm words take away life. Proverbs 15, verse 1. But harsh words tear off anger. Remember that. The words you speak to your parents, it matters. The encouraging words. Even to the children, it matters. Being thankful. Say, I thank you for being in my life. Sometimes it can be annoying. But thank people. It changes a lot. It makes a difference. Say, I thank you. I appreciate you. Though sometimes you, you so annoying. You gave me so much headache. I appreciate God for bringing you in my life. Be thankful. It's so important. Do not sit there and you be so ungrateful you forget people. Then when they're lying in your casket, you go with a bouquet of flowers, you go with money, you go buy cheese to put it on their neck. It's all vanity and meaningless. You didn't appreciate them while they were alive. You didn't even call them. I know you are person. You didn't even go to visit them. You didn't even send them a person. But while they're lying down in a casket, you have come to realize suddenly that they were good to you. You want to get sick all the presses. Shame on you. Stop doing that. Give a man his flower while he's alive. Be thankful. I love this country. And I love the Western world. Whoever designed it, they did it for a good intention. They, have, they design Mother's Day and Father's Day. And they, and they had have this holiday of Thanksgiving. Appreciate people for once. It may not necessarily be money, but the calm words, the sweet words he said to them, those is a melody. Those nice adjectives you use. Oh, my beautiful mother, my sweet mother. How do I sing the Prince Nico? Sweet mother, I not go forget you for the suffer you suffer for me. Yeah. When I was hungry. My mother go carry me. She go lie me where where for bed. She call me cloth. Send me to sleep, sleep, sleep. My picking no, I remember this song. Sweet mother, sweet mother. Have you forgotten your mother, who was making fun to send you to school? You calling her names because people manipulate you, they brainwash you. Your mother has become a witch trap. And even she's a witch trap, pray for her. Seek for deliverance. Sometimes people are blind wishes, they don't know. People give them food. So they use their faces to go and astral project. Seek for deliverance for your parents. Here is not a place that anyone should wish anyone to go to. Not even your worst enemy. Let us pray for God to deliver us. Let us pray for our family to be delivered. Imagine if all the wishes die. 
Who are you going to come and lead as a president of a country? If everyone in the country are wishes and waste and waste that. Sometimes we are back, we are carried away by emotion. We cut the scripture Exodus 22 18. We will not suffer for the wishes to live. Let God be the judge in this situation. But you should seek for deliverance and pray for the Lord's forgiveness. Sometimes it's difficult. It's the spirit. Some of them talk, make vows. When they initiate in your dream, they share to you that when you leave, they will kill you. Later, do people know that God has power? God has power to save and to deliver. They don't know. Some of them in churches that are predominated by witches and witchcraft. So the power of God is not there. It takes the grace of God to deliver people. So please, slow down. Slow down. Slow down and think for once. And be kind to people. You may not have to give to someone money. But just call them and speak to talk to them nice. Two dollars put in the phone. And, and just talk and say, oh auntie. People talking to you, your step parents. They were annoyed because they wanted the best for you. They desire a best outcome for you. They were so harsh on you. They wanted you to be someone good in society. That's why they were restricting you. But you, you hold that against them. The Bible said, chain up a child in a way that he or she will go and will not depart from them. But you hold it against them. You said they are evil, they are wicked. You don't even call them. Your stepfather was this. Your stepfather is wicked. Your stepmother is this. I know there are some step parents too. They can be so unexpected in behavior. They can be so surprised and they can surpass the limit. But let us be forgiven. Forgive. Matthew 18, 21 to 22 says, Forgive some times seven, seven in a second. Forgive people. And just say thank you. You know what? I know you did some stuff to me. I'll forgive you for the battle of my heart. Some people did some horrible stuff to people. Say, I'm forgiving you. I have let go. I have emptied my heart. Let God be God. Let God take the glory. Let God take the honor. But stop being so mean. Please. May the Lord deliver us. God placed us in position to pray for our parents. Some of them got into stuff that they didn't know. The foundation, their ancestry, their generation. They not just seek the Lord's way for deliverance. God can do anything. Matthew 19 20 says, With God, all things are possible. Luke 1 37 says, With God, all things are possible. Let us pray to God for our family, our husband, our loved one, our wives. Let us appreciate them, be thankful to them. And appreciate our Father in heaven. Father in heaven, how we love you. We love your need, oh dear. May your kingdom be established in our praises. I saw people, we declare your mighty works. Father in heaven. How we love you. We love your name, oh dear. May your kingdom be established in our praises. As a people, we declare your mighty works. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, who was it is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, who reigns forevermore. Yes, Lord. Say your light. Say your light. Say your light, oh Jehovah. Say your light into my soul. Say your light. Say your light. 
Send your light, oh Jehovah. Send your light into my soul. In the name of Jesus. Send your light. Send your light. Send your light, oh Jehovah. Send your light into my soul. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We are your children. You created us in your image and likeness. Lord, have mercy. Sometimes we can be so annoying, so ungrateful, so appreciating you. But Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy on your children. It appears to be thankful. Being thankful is a good feeling. Showing gratitude is a good action, good demonstration. Lord, help us that we will continue being thankful to you and showing gratitude and appreciation to everyone around us, especially you who created us. I'm not talking about those who feel that God doesn't exist. I'm talking about believers who know that God is spirit. He's omnipotent, omnipresent, omnipresent. I'm talking about the Lord Almighty. The mighty man in battle, the great I am, I am. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The lion and the Lord, lamb of God. The God that killed and made a, a life. He killed and made a life. According to 1 Samuel 2, 6 to 9. I'm talking about the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. I'm talking about the God who's standing at the door. According to Revelation 3 and 20. And he's knocking. At the door of our heart, that if we answer him and we invite him, he will come in and dine with us and we with him. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Be thankful for the life we are living. There are many innocent children, innocent young and young people. Immature death, premature death is on an increase. Let us pray against it. Let the Lord have mercy. Any wrong we have done, Lord have mercy and take away the spirit of premature death for among us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy because people have turned their back on you. They are worshiping idols. They are going to wish doctors, principalities, secret society, or cultic. They go to grandmaster and seeking power to acquire wealth, to become famous, to seek positions. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Father, have mercy over us. Have mercy over us. And give the spirit of immoralities, lesbianism, homosexuality. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Father have mercy on oh, our leaders. The manipulation is too much in the churches of God. Just the spirit is overwhelming. Lord have mercy and deliver our leaders, our pastor. Every evil manipulation that gives them, Father, we cancel it by the blood of Jesus. Have mercy. Have mercy. Let your way be done. Father, she can Thank you, Lord. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my very soul shout out, hallelujah, praise God for saving me, Lord. When I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that you have done, my very soul, shout out, hallelujah, praise God for saving me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You don't more than enough. Heart of a shikri. More than enough. <laughs> Father, you are done more than enough for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. 
when we are ungrateful, Father, we need faithful to us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. You are done more than enough. You are done more than enough, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise, Lamb of God. What oh, is the Lamb of God? Oh, I've been to taking things. I've been to trials. Nobody try to come up from love. God used to be tall. In the midst of the no, I will live in testimony. You don't want to make it do. A story don't make it change. That is why you are done. Beginning and end. You deserve the praise, Lord. I'm going with you, Mawa. You don't find more than enough. Laughter in my mouth. You are Luna God. You don't want to make it do. You are the beginning and the end. I go with your mama. You don't want more than enough. You put laughter in my mouth. Thank you, Jesus. 
Is God created for you today? Or is God created in your life? Yes. You are great, yes you are. Holy one. Walk upon the sea and raise the dead. Heart of a chicken. You great in majesty. Mighty God. Everything written about you is great. You are great, yes you are. Holy one, you walk upon the sea, you raise the dead, you great in majesty, holy God, everything written about you is great, you are great, you are great. 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 Everything written about you is great. You are 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 great, Lord. You are great, Jesus. We worship you today. Everything, everything about you is great. Yes, Lord, you are great. You are great in all circumstances, Lord. We worship you today. We gave you all the praise. Mighty, mighty God. We worship you today. We gave you all the praise. As we laid our hands to you. We praise this in our hearts. We raise our voice to sing. Everything written about you is great. And see you can do low. We worship you today. Give you all the praise. We live our hands to you, low. We praise us in our hearts. We raise our voice to sing. Everything written about you is great. Demon tremble at your praises. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about you is great. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about you is great. You are great. Thank you, Lord. Let us worship God and praise Him. If you don't know it today, try to know it. Praises and worship move God. Worship Him in any given circumstances. And knowledge God that He is. That He's able to do the undoable, the unthinkable, the unmovable, the unchangeable. He's able to transform and change every situation in a given second. He does so much for me. I cannot tell you, Lord. If I had to 
season. Yes, there won't be enough. Jesus name. Father will cover your people with the blood of Jesus. Deliver us to God. Thank you for fighting all the many battles. Thank you, Lord God. And mess our ingratitude attitude. You remain faithful to us, Lord. We say thank you. Thank you, Father, for your divine protection over us. Lift your hands. For he has done so much for us. No, Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for your people today. Thank you for this is the day that the Lord has made. We will be rejoiced. And be glad in it. According to Psalm 18 verse 24. Lord we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for all you have done. We thank you for all. We thank you for all. We thank you for everything Lord. We appreciate you Lord. Thank you Jesus. What shall I render? Please share and invite somebody. Someone will be blessed. The word of God is a mirror. It's a reflection. When I'm preaching by the leading of the Holy Spirit, I see my mistakes in it. I see myself in it. It's for every one of us. Second Timothy 3 says, the, the, the scripture is made for correction, reproof, for righteousness and everything. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. For all God has done for us, we are telling him thank you. Amen. God 